Hello, I'm Tracy Health, an independent stamping up demonstrator in Melbourne in Australia and today I would like to show you how to make a card using the herringbone technique. So this is a great card for using up scraps of DSP, you just need thin strips and it's one of those cards that look complicated so it has this big wow factor but in actual fact it's really easy to make. So let's get started. So what you need is a piece of cardstock, whatever size you like. I'm using 12 centimeters by 8 centimeters over here with a piece of adhesive sheeting stuck over it. So this is just some that I had from before, but Stamping Up now has um, adhesive sheeting back in the catalog. So that makes it great for us. So I'm going to peel off my top layer so it's completely sticky. You can do this using whatever glue you like or um, Tombow but it's going to get a bit messy. It's completely covered so you're not going to have any glue sticking out and the adhesive sheeting just makes it easy to work with. So I've got a whole lot of strips of paper which I've cut at one centimeter wide or three eighths of an inch. And I have a lot of extra on the side here, just left over from cards that I've already done. So you can, as you use it, your, your strips get smaller and smaller, but you can still use them. And I'm going to be using alternating colors, sort of in the same family, but you can do whatever you like. You can use completely different colors. You can use each strip here can be a different color. Nothing says that you've got to keep the colors the same. So you're going to start with putting one strip across and then we're going to just butt the edge of that against that strip and I'm dividing my initial piece into four different triangles. And now I'm going to just go alternating the strips to fill in the triangles. So. And I'm going to use the same DSP in the opposite quadrant but like I say you don't have to you can do whatever you like there's no rules here except for your fingers sticking to so I'm cutting that off a little bit and reusing that for my next one I'm going to use this design. And I just keep going, filling it in. The only thing that I'm paying attention to is that my strips are as close as I can get them right next to each other. And you can either work with full strips or you can cut the lengths off and use those lengths. Let's use this with a little bit of writing on it. I will just cut that edge straight. Kind of straight. It's really easy to do and you come out with a card that looks like it was very complicated. 
more things. All right, so I'm just going to carry on filling in the gaps here. Sorry. If it's just getting a bit boring, you can just fast forward to the end of me filling this in. Now here you can see, I'll hold it up, we've got a tiny little, oops, to get that tiny little bit there, so I'm just putting that against it to fill in that gap, just give it a good press. Okay, so that's all filled in. I can then cut off um, my excess. I don't like cutting directly next to the cardboard because I'm going to use my trimmer to to cut it straight because that gives me a neater edge than than using the scissors but we'll just get rid of most of the pieces to start and now that I've got one straight edge All trimmed. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to layer that onto another piece of cardstock which is just slightly, slightly larger so that I've got a little white edge showing through and layer that onto my misty moonlight card base And then you can decide whether you want it to be landscape or portrait. Um, I've used the lovely You stamp set. It's got some really sweet greetings in it. I wanted a little greeting because I didn't want to cover up too much of my design. So I've stamped that and cut it out with my stitched ovals dies. And... I'm going to, and you can see I stamped it, didn't stamp it too well, so we've stamped it on the back, but that doesn't matter, nobody's going to see that. I think that this one, I'm going to do that way. I'll stick that on. And... I've got a piece of cardstock which I'm going to put um, inside. So just whatever strip of DSP you've got that's long enough, we can stick along the bottom just to give our inside a bit of a decorative edge. Stick 
put in five. And there we go. Our card is done. So I hope you've enjoyed this technique. I hope you'll give it a try. Don't hold your DSP. Cut it and use it. And I hope you'll join me soon for my next video. Bye for now.